not terrible. Welcome to the Bath Fizz and Foam YouTube channel. Today it's time for What the F Wednesday. Well, I heard you could use Kool Aid to make bath bombs, and that means that it probably is not that hard just to make bath bombs. Damella, I don't think that's gonna work. Yes. I saw it on YouTube. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. Yeah? No. Yes. Nope. Y'all? Yeah. No. You won't believe me? Fine. For you, Damella, I'm gonna do it. Let's go do it. We're doing it right now. After my conversation with Damella, I realized that I needed to go to the source material. So that's where I found of this of video of this guy making of bath bombs. Cornstarch, which we don't usually use cornstarch in our bath bombs, but I found that using the cornstarch instead of baking soda with this recipe kind of helps with the taste. If you just use baking soda, it's really got a baking soda taste to it. So this kind of gets rid of it. Now I have to say, I was a little bit confused about his video overall. Like I wasn't sure whether he was, like I wasn't sure what was, what's the point? Like are we making bath bombs that you can eat? Is that like, cause he does, I don't think he says that they're edible bath bombs. I think he says that they're like bath bombs made with Kool-Aid. And so like, is the point to make bath bombs that we can eat, or is the point to make bath bombs using Kool-Aid to color the bath bomb? But then I don't think that that's the point because he uses a lot of sugar. He also talks about how it tastes. So I think, I think, can we all agree? I think that he's intending for us to eat these bath bombs. I just, I just don't think it's a good idea. I just don't think that we're meant to be eating bath bombs. I mean, I don't know. It's just, this is so dumb. Anyway, so What the F*** Wednesday is originally supposed to be me finding kind of crap recipes on Pinterest or, I don't know, whatever. Crap, crap, Pinterest, crap bath bomb recipes online and then testing them and then showing you why they're crap. <laughs> and there's lots of great free recipes, but this particular, <laughs> you know, What the F*** Wednesday was geared at crap recipes. So... Um, somebody suggested, though, that I should do the Kool-Aid bath bombs. And I was like, there's no way that that's a thing. Like, there's no way that that's a thing. And it is a thing. And I found the, the video. And I don't, I just don't understand. I don't understand. Why? Like, why are we doing this? So, so anyway, the, I, I followed his recipe exactly. So this first batch, this red batch, I am following his recipe exactly. And um, in this uh, mix, there's a, there's cornstarch, baking soda. It's basically exactly his recipe. I'll pop it back up here again so you guys can see it. But baking soda, citric acid, baking soda, citric acid, cornstarch, powdered sugar, and granulated sugar. And sadly, this mix felt it feels amazing. It's a great mix. Like. <sighs> If the intent was to make an actual bath bomb and if it didn't have like loads of sugar in it, I'd have to say it's a, it's, it's a good mix. Like the mix feels really good. It's really easy to make. And uh, actually this, this video that you're seeing right now, I made during a Patreon. So off to the side, I'm talking to the Patreons uh, in Zoom while I'm making this batch. And they got to see me test it for the first time My you know, they're live, but you'll also get, I'll, I'll show you in a minute when I taste it and you can get my opinion about it, but, uh, it's not great. It's not great. Um, yeah. So those little tiny individual bath bombs I did, that is a one inch mold, mini bath bomb mold from Chunk of Dust. Super cute. This nine gumball, I think it's a gumball multi-mold is from Kate Molds. Also really cute. Um, both are pretty easy to use. This is not intended to be a bath bomb mold tutorial or anything like that, but, you know, you can see how to use that multi-ball mold if you want to, if that's, you know, something that you're looking for. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, so one of the things though is that it made my molds so sticky, <laughs> which I guess makes sense because there's a lot of sugar in the mix. So let's talk about what could go wrong if you actually took a bath in this bath bomb. So it's, I don't think it's, I really don't want to believe that it's intended to be bathed in, okay, because there's so much sugar in it, and there's, <laughs> there's this little life being called a fungus or a yeast, and one thing that yeast really loves, and it's basically its favorite food, is sugar, and so ladies... If you don't want to have yeast food in your bathtub, then you probably shouldn't be bathing in sugar. And I'm not even, like, it's one thing when somebody uses sugar sprinkles in their on their bath bombs. Like, I'm not about that, but, you know, it's like a tiny, that's a tiny amount of sugar. This is like cups of sugar. <laughs> so it's not good for putting your hoo-ha in. Um, additionally, it doesn't taste good. <laughs> uh, I actually had to look up because I, after a while, I was like, oh my God, I've had like so much baking. I drank three of these in one day and I started feeling like incredibly thirsty. Um, okay, here I am drinking it. Let's see. What's my reaction? Do I think it's great? No. Nope, I do not. I sure don't. Um, so... Okay, the thing is, I had to look up online, like, because I know that you can drink baking soda for an upset stomach, so it can be used medicinally. So I was like, okay, well, how much baking, like, can I, can I, Google, hello, help me, can I poison myself with baking soda? And actually, the answer is yes. Yes, you, you can actually do that. So you probably, uh, okay, and you had, with this recipe, with his OG recipe, you had to use two of the little things to get any kind of flavor. It didn't, it was nice and red, but it didn't actually have like a Kool-Aid flavor. It mostly tasted like baking soda water sugar. <laughs> sugar baking soda water is is not good. Anyway, so, okay. Baking soda can be used medicinally. I had to look up how much you could use and, and I had to like math it out, but basically this recipe puts you right on the cusp of... <laughs> the medically significant amount of baking soda that you should consume. So I don't think necessarily that this is a good idea because you're going to, what happens is you're going to neutralize your stomach acid over time. Now I did test the pH of these because I was like a little bit concerned, concerned like what if this is like too alkali? <laughs> Am I going to kill myself doing this? Um, it's not, it's not too alkali. Like I'm not going to neutralize all my stomach acid because the baking soda and the citric acid, they are going to like neutralize each other a tiny bit, but still it doesn't matter. You probably shouldn't be drinking this much baking soda. It's not great for your body. Maybe one glass of this is fine, but I drank three glasses of this. So, okay. So this is my second batch. Um, after the first batch, I was like, wait, I think I can improve this. And so one of the things I did was I cut down on the granulated sugar because I was like, well, maybe it's not sweet enough because like the granulated sugar kind of needs to be warm to dissolve. And so maybe if I use more powdered sugar and less granulated sugar, it will be better. And I think the jury was still kind of out on that one. Like, the problem was this was a blueberry lemonade-flavored Kool-Aid. And so it was really tart anyway. And so it was kind of hard for me to decide, is, is this good? I don't know. And uh, I don't have my notes here in front of me as I'm recording this, but I'm pretty sure I might have doubled up on the actual, like, Kool-Aid packages because it wasn't really, like, you didn't have that, like, strong flavor like the color is there, but I wanted to, I didn't want to have to use two bath bombs in each cup. So I'm pretty sure I doubled up on the Kool-Aid either on this one or the next one. One of them, I ended up doing that. Okay, so this is my third batch of the day. I'm already thirsty by this point. 
I'm already getting thirsty, and all I can think about right now is water. Like, that is all I want right now. I feel like that episode on SpongeBob where he goes into Sandy's terrarium. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it! Okay, that was me. I was so freaking thirsty. Like all I could think about was how much I wanted water at this point. And it's probably, that's probably bad. <laughs> that's probably my body like saying, stop doing this. You know, you're making a mistake, but who, who even listens to their body? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I drank like the rest of this. I drank the rest of this jug of water. I was so freaking thirsty. Like, I can't even tell you how thirsty I was. It was not okay. <laughs> At that point, I knew that's, I actually pH tested it after this point because I was like, I think there might be a problem. And my friend who is a biologist FaceTimed me. <laughs> and she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm drinking bath bombs. <laughs> and she was like, what the f Don't do that. It's not a good idea. Um, it's not a good idea. So I don't suggest doing doing three of these in one day, especially if you have to, like, double up on them. It's a lot. It's just a lot. So, okay, this is my third batch. Um, at this point, I have tried to eliminate some of the cornstarch. I just, it's still not good. Like, we're not there. We're not, it's not working very well. Um, and I'll show you why. I eliminated the cornstarch because what I was noticing was when you let the glass sit for a while, you get this kind of schmegma <laughs> at the bottom of the glass, which is the cornstarch settling out and just like settling down to the bottom. And then that second one, I think I had reduced the granulated sugar, but I didn't reduce the cornstarch. And in the purple one, I think I reduced, I might have eliminated the cornstarch. I'm not sure. But um, b powdered sugar still has cornstarch. Okay, so then I found this guy. When I serve this drink, I'm gonna give it to my guest with one of our cocktail bombs. Three, two, one, happy new year! The reaction takes just a second to get going, but I do find that these work a lot better in a wide glass so that it can get all the way around it versus a tall skinny glass. And there we have our New Year's Eve toast, the instant ball drop magic cocktail. I mean, I say I found him. I didn't find him. One of the um, Patreon people who was watching the Patreon where I made that first red red round, um, they were like, hey, I found this video. It might help you. Now, I loved, okay, what, what I gleaned from this was, let, how about we do this? How about we make a base that's extremely sweet and we add the bath bomb to a base. So that way we're not dependent on the bath bomb entirely for flavor. And instead let's use it as like an addition to an established beverage. So I made some Kool-Aid and uh, so I made a pitcher of lemonade Kool-Aid. I mean, it's not really that lemony, but we'll say that it's lemonade Kool-Aid. So I made a, a batch of Kool-Aid first. And I highly encourage you to go back and watch that guy's channel. He, if you're a foodie at all, like he has a great channel. He has really beautiful uh, photography going on in his channel. Um, so five stars. Definitely suggest you go back and uh, look at that. Now, one of the things he included, I believe was xanthan gum. Once again, I don't have my notes here in front of me. <laughs> Why would I have my notes while I'm recording? Anyway, he included something that was like he was using it as a binder. But as a bath bomb maker, I know that you don't need that element to make the bath bombs hold together. So I eliminated that and I reduced the recipe down to this. So now we have a very basic bare bones kind of mix that we're going to use to make this and it should be strong enough that you don't need to use two in your glass you could use one but you should add it to an established beverage so you have lemonade and we're going to add it to our lemonade and we're going to change our lemonade into strawberry lemonade and i also like i said i eliminated the cornstarch so we didn't have the sh bleh, the schmutz at the bottom 
Um, and the the powdered sugar will still have a little bit of cornstarch in it, but not too bad. <sighs> so, yeah. <laughs> I still don't think that anybody should drink this, okay? I'm just saying, if you're going to do it, do it like this, okay? Because to get enough sugar in it, to make it sweet enough, to be bearable, to overcome the whole flavor of the fact that you're drinking a bath bomb, God help me, I can't even believe this is my life, okay, the amount of sugar that you need to use is just not workable for a bath bomb that's this tiny. So you need more sugar than what's in the OG recipe. Um, but powdered sugar just doesn't give you enough. So using a sweet base like lemonade or Kool-Aid, whatever, and adding your bath bomb ugh, to that is going to be your best bet. In my humble opinion, after making, this might be my fourth or fifth batch with these. I don't think I showed them all because some of them, like, weren't that interesting or significant on their own. But, you know, it's just, if you must do it, do it like this, okay? Anyway, it the, the thing is... Like I like I mentioned the thirst. Um, like I was so freaking thirsty. Like I don't think that this is a good idea. <laughs> I just don't think it's a good idea. Like you're not meant. To, well, see how good this mix is. <laughs> like I wish this was an actual bath bomb mix, because these babies like they, they took some kind of a beatings and abuse. I dropped them. They held together. So one of the things in that video that that guy said is like he used. Um, I'm going to say xanthan gum. I'll double check my notes, though, and I'll pop up a little thing. Yes, I'm right. Or no, it's this thing. Anyway, it might have been guar gum. He used something um, because he was like, oh, well, it helps, like, the mix stick together. But basically, sugar is sticky. So you don't need to add, like, any of those additional filler things. Like, the sugar itself is going to be sticky. So... You know, you could just do it like this. I don't know. Don't do it, though. Don't do it. I know that I'm doing it, and I'm showing you how to do it, and I'm going to pop up a recipe and tell you how you can do it if you want to do it, but I'm telling you, it's not a good idea. Like, you're not, like, what's the point? Are you going to serve this at a party and tell people to drop their bath bomb in it? Like, the only way that you're going to be able to pull this off is if you're home dude with his badass bar, and you're like, okay, if he's making whatever he made, like a Jersey whiskey, or I don't know what he made. Anyway, if, uh, Lund, uh, what did he make? Anyway, whatever beverage he made, like, yeah, if people are trashed and drunk, <laughs> you can serve them bath bombs. But if you're thinking like, hey, my seven-year-old is having a birthday party and I want to do something cool, so I'm going to do some edible bath bombs for her birthday party, like, don't do that. It's not, I just don't think that that's a good idea. Like, plus, how much, how much bath bomb, how much bath bomb is safe for a seven-year-old to drink? I just don't know. Just don't do it. Okay, here I am. I have my lemonade. I have high hopes. This is a different day. This is a different day because um, Homegirl sent me the link. I had to look it up. I had to watch it, and then I had to have a chance to make this. So this is a different day. I have my lemonade. I have added my little bath bomb to my lemonade. I have high hopes. Yes, it's cool. Yay, 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 yay. You get to see the color change. Who cares? It's not worth drinking bath bomb over. Anyway, okay. There's my drink. I'm going to drink it. Maybe? No. Could be. Wait. Drink it again. What do I think? Possibly. It's passable. I feel like at this point it's passable. But I needed, um, I needed a second opinion on it. So I brought in my son. <laughs> yeah. You want to come taste this? Come be on camera. 
Why are you so I'm tall? Too tall for Why are you so tall? <laughs> I'm too tall. Okay, here you go. It floats. That's nice. Uh huh. You can see it's spreading. That's kind of cool. Uh huh. Yeah. It's definitely carbonated. Uh huh. It this definitely is good. also smells like the last this one. This is good because you tried the I tried the other last two. One. Why are you so tall? Oh my god. You tried the last one. I tried well, I didn't try the last one. I tried the first one. Because you did another one, remember? Yeah. With whatever. I'm so nervous to let go of that. Okay, <laughs> give it a shot. Still fizzing, but sure. It's not terrible. <laughs> it's still, it still has that taste of baking soda, but it's not so noticeable that it makes me want to pour out the drink like I did yeah, last time. Yeah, like I think if you didn't know. I mean, I could probably drink this entire glass. I wouldn't like do it again, but I'm gonna go out my way to make these bath bombs. Yeah. They're a neat concept though. How many stars? Two. <laughs> I gave the first one two stars. I would give the first one zero stars. Well, I gave the first. Oh yeah. Like, I think like three stars is something you should give us. You should at least give it a try. And five stars is excellent. This is like two. Like, I I wouldn't go out of my way to make this, but you know it's not bad. I would give it's it three stars. I think I would give it three stars. I don't suggest it. I don't. Yeah. I, wouldn't I don't suggest. It. It's like not worth your time or your ingredients. No, it's really not. I don't that know if it's because I know. Ugh. I don't know if it's because I know. We need to have somebody who doesn't know. Who would you have that doesn't know? Does Austin know? Austin! It's still fizzing. It's still fizzy carbonated. You want to try this drink? It's sleeping. It's strawberry lemonade. I want you to try it and tell me what you think. Looks neon. Mm-hmm. Come here. Taste it. I just want to see. Just You're wanna videoing see. me. <laughs> just please. Fine. Good. Okay. Would you drink it again? Wait, is this kombucha? No. No, it's not kombucha. It's fizzy. It. Huh? It's, it's a little fizzy. It's got a little fizzy in it. Yeah. How fizzy is it? <laughs> it's kombucha, isn't it? No, it's not it's kombucha. Not what kombucha is it? Just like drink it. Tell me if you like it. What is it? It's lemonade. It's pink lemonade. Great, it's good. Okay. Would you voluntarily drink it? <laughs> Why? You asked me the question. <laughs> Would you would you buy another? Oh, it's the Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you didn't know it was a Kool Aid bath bomb, would you drink it? Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, it's not great. That's what I said. I said it's it's not bad. Give me some cheese. <laughs> okay, so that's it. I don't know. You have free will. Do what you're gonna do with this information. I'm just telling you, I don't think it's a good idea to drink bath bombs. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I feel like this crushed my soul a little bit. <laughs> like, please just let bath bombs be bath bombs and let drinks be drinks. Please just go drink a Fanta. Go drink a Topo Chico. <sighs> please just go do that and just like let a bath bomb be a bath bomb. Please. But also, you you have free will. Go do what you're gonna do. I can't I can't tell you how to live your life. But also, please don't do this, okay? <laughs> um, God, if you would like more information on how to make real bath bombs that don't contain sugar and feed the yeast in your woo-ha, then um, you could find us. 
<laughs> I'm just, it's just like crushed my soul. Anyway, you can come uh, join us on bathisandfoam.com. We have classes. We have boot camps. We have recipes. You could come find us there. Um, we also have a Facebook group called Bath, Fizz and Foam, Bath Bomb, and Bubble Bar Support Group where you have, we have a community of kind, friendly, helpful makers, and we would love to see you there. We'd love to be able to help you. We do free um facebook lives every monday where you can see how to make bath bombs it's cool um if you're interested in learning more even more even more um you could come to our patreon it's not free but you know it, it's it's there if you want more information um that's it i, I guess just, i can't with this just don't do it please okay i mean you, but do what you're gonna do but also please don't but but also happy making okay happy Ha, we're smiling. Everything's fine. Happy making. Boop. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my god, there's a dog at her. Whoa. And then I told her, what if instead of putting Coolip on top of your pie, what if instead you put Coolip in the bottom of the pie at the beginning while you're baking it? And then the coolip is just already in the pie. So then when you cut into the pie, you have like pumpkin pie on the top. And then you have a bottom layer of coolip on the pie. I think I'm like, I just created something. And I was like, what if instead of taking the flour and putting it in the ground in a pot, what if instead you just put it in a pot and you didn't put the dirt in it so that the grass and stuff and the bugs didn't get in your flowers. And then you could just have clean flowers. Like the whole world is full of dirty flowers. And then that's how I found out that he was laundering money because I looked inside the washing machine and there was a quarter in there. And I was like, oh my God, this explains everything.